Howdy, 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 and welcome. I'm doing this, I'm naming this video Geologists Explain This. And I've been linking this, you know, video, video I did a while back on this to geologists, and I never hear nothing back. How is it geologically possible for, with geological theory, to have a dragon on Google Earth? How is, here's its head, here's its throat, its body's back in here. How is this geologically even possible to form this? Because I understand a lot of the geological theories. You got the feathering on the back here. How is this even geologically possible with the theories they have? I mean, that. And this is not pareidolia. This is not cloud pictures. You're seeing exactly what everybody sees. You got a dragon's head right here and it's throwing the rest of its body back here. How is this even geologically possible? Please tell me if you're a geologist or whatever. And these are all anatomically correct. Down here in the Antarctic, you have an anatomically correct of a it looks like a serpent's head. How is that geologically possible? You got an eye here where it should be, an eye over here where it should be, and you got right here, or right here, right here. And then across the snoot, you have the, the heat seekers, the, the, the sensors for seeking its prey. How is that even geologically possible? Here in Morocco, you got a dragon and a fish. Mud Fossil University showed this many times. You got the fish right here, you got a dragon right here in its head, and it's spewing some whatever it is, poison onto it, and here's the rest of its body. But right there, that red dot's where its eye is, and this is its head. I mean, how is this? possible with geological theory and these are this this is not coincidences and you go up here and you look right here and that right there is a dragon's head and the rest of his body laying out here you even got his tail right here and the rest of his body right here how is that geologically possible that the earth just happened to create these carcasses here it is with it drawn out. So when you take it away, and you can you can see exactly what it is. And so how is that geologically possible? And there it is again. There's its head right there. You can, see, you can see its snoot, and you can see, and you can see its eyes. I mean, that, that's a head, and the rest of its body laying there. You can got its tail over here, and then you look right next to it, and what the heck is that? What is that laying right there? There's some kind of carcass laying right there. So how did geology create this stuff? How? With geological theory, if you're a geologist, please tell me. In China, Mongolia, you got this massive dragon's head. I mean, that's exactly what that is. There's its right eye. Left eye is over here. It's kind of cockeyed. But then, you come up in here, you can see it's crowning. And it's exactly the same way in shadows over here on this side. The same as it is on this side. That's its crown. This is a down the ridge of its nose. This is where it V's between its eyes. I mean, <laughs> how did geology create this stuff? You got its mouth down here in Wuhan. I mean, it's so obvious, it's not even funny. This is a dragon's head. So how did geology, how did this, how is this geologically possible? And then right beside it, you got some kind of a, a dragon or something right here with its head right there. Its nose is crushed in. You got its throat going up to the rest of its body. How is that possible? 
to have these carcasses on Google Earth and it's not paradelia, how is this possible geologically?